today we are going to discuss radioactivity topic 5.2.2 the three types of nuclear emission in core we are going to discuss the emission of radiation from a nucleus as a spontaneous and random in direction uh, we are going to identify what are alpha beta and gamma emissions from the nucleus uh, we are going to discuss their nature their relative ionizing effect and their uh, penetrating ability relative penetrating ability uh, in this topic we are only going to discuss beta positive uh, sorry beta negative particles we are not going to discuss beta positive particles in the supplement we are going to discuss the deflection of alpha beta and gamma particles in electric field and magnetic field also we are going to discuss their uh, relative ionizing effect uh, with reference to the kinetic energy and the electric charge okay first of all uh, the emission of alpha radiations or uh, alpha radiation uh, the emission of all radiation from a nucleus uh, radioactive decay is spontaneous spontaneous uh, meaning that it uh, happened uh, on their own uh, no uh, they they could be non spontaneous they could be spontaneous uh, a non spontaneous is like a uh, when a unstable nuclei uh, uh, is uh, uh, hit by some uh, particles like uh, when a uranium is hit by uh, uh, a neutron we have discussed it that in the nuclear fission reaction uh, it emits radiations as well as it uh, break down into other particles but in spontaneous emission a nucleus because a nucleus contain a high number of proton and neutron uh, they uh, uh, when they do proton uh, are uh, positive particles they repel each other that's why they uh, they um, due to uh, electrostatic force of repulsion the nucleus break down uh, with the decay of uh, radioactive uh, part, radioactive uh, emissions radioactive uh, alpha beta or gamma particles it is a random process which means one cannot uh, know what nucleus will decay or which nucleus will decay and what is the chance of the nucleus of uh, which nucleus is going to decay for example we have a 1 gram of uh, any uh, one gram any material in one kg we know that we have uh, six point zero two into ten raised to power twenty three atoms. No, which one is going to uh, from these six point zero two ten to power twenty three? Which atom will going to emit radiation? It is spontaneous. Anyone can uh, emit radiation. Uh, the radiation emitted move random in direction. There is no specific direction. They move along the x-axis, y-axis, or in some plane. They will move in random uh, directions. Okay, we are going to discuss the alpha particle. Uh, first of all, alpha particle is a heavy nucleus. Emits when a heavy nucleus emit alpha particle. Uh, alpha particle mean helium nuclei. We have discussed it in our previous lecture. What is helium nuclei? Helium nuclei contain four nucleons in which two are proton. Four nucleon mean it contain two proton and two neutron it contain two proton and two neutron when an atom uh, when a nuclei emit the alpha particle it convert into other nuclei because its atomic mass changes which is a minus 4 and due to the change in the atomic number due to the change in the atomic number our alpha particle our uh, our nuclei changes into other nuclei with the emission of alpha particle as alpha particle has two proton it mean it has two charge plus two charge due to which it is weakly penetrating weakly penetrating because its mass is high and its ionizing power is high its mass is high its ionizing power is high due to plus two charge due to plus two charge it has highly ionizing power but due to their more mass it is weakly penetrating they are stopped by a sheet of paper remember this they are stopped by a sheet of paper a sheet of paper can stop alpha particle this question is asked again and again we can stop alpha particle with the help of a paper they are slightly deflected by electric and magnetic field because alpha particle are positively charged it will be affected by electric and magnetic field second one is uh, our beta particle it is uh, when a neutron uh, br break down a neutron decay in the proton 
and the electron a neutron decay in proton electron we have discussed previously also that when a neutron decay it form a proton and electron this electron which emit from the nucleus is known as beta particle the beta particle is emitted within the nuclei by this decay the atomic mass remain the same because the neutron decay and convert into a proton so the atomic mass does not change but our mass number increases by one our mass sorry atomic number increases by one because our proton number increases by one our neutron decay to form a proton so the atom also changes so the atom also changes because we discussed that we have known that an atom is known by its atomic number so when atomic number changes the atom also changes with the emit of a beta particle 0 minus 1 0 minus 1 they are moderately ionizing moderately mean uh, they are ionizing but less than that of the uh, proto uh, alpha particle because they have uh, less charge than them and moderately penetrating they are penetrating highly but not highly penetrating but moderately penetrating they can be stopped by thin sheet of any metal but we mostly discuss it with the help of aluminium they are greatly deflected by electric and magnetic field they are greatly deflected by electric and magnetic field the third one is the gamma particles uh, after a previous uh, decay uh, a nuclei with excess energy emits a gamma particle when uh, a gamma particle emits uh, with the uh, with, it is just a form of energy an extra energy and uh, nuclei emit gamma particle are form of electromagnetic radiation they are slowly uh, they are lowly ionizing they uh, mostly they are not ionizing and highly penetrating because they are not affected by any electric and magnetic field they can pass through uh, many centimeters of the lead from this figure you can see that alpha particle are the helium nuclei beta particles are electrons and gamma particles are energy alpha particles are stopped by the uh, with the help of paper beta particles can be stopped with the help of some metal like aluminium and gamma particles are stopped by the uh, few millimeter of a uh, few uh, few centimeters of lead okay let's start with the question question number one which will describe the nature of alpha and gamma rays alpha particle are helium nuclei so first or second may be true alpha particles are not proton because they are nucleus of helium nuclei they contain two proton and two neutron gamma rays are electromagnetic radiations these are not electrons so gamma ra uh, gamma rays are electromagnetic radiation and helium nuclei so our a option is the right option okay question number two the diagram show the path of three different types of radiations x y and z the x radiation can pass through plastic and uh, cannot pass through aluminium so we know that this is the beta particles the first the second one is stopped by paper so uh, paper or plastic so it should be alpha alpha rays and the z the z one passed through some millimeter of lead as well so these are the gamma radiation these are the gamma radiation so first one x is the x one is x is the beta particle y is the alpha particle and z is the gamma particle so b is the right option question number three uh, which row gives the properties of the radiation from radioactive material okay uh, the most penetrating radiations are the gamma radiation so c or d could be the right option or the most ionizing most ionizing alpha particle so c is the right option the most penetrating is the gamma radiation the most ionizing is the alpha radiation question number four which statement about alpha radiation is correct now we are going to discuss the alpha radiation we are going to discuss the alpha radiation here are we are going to discuss about the alpha radiation it is a steam of fast moving electron alpha particle does not contain electron those are beta particles it is a form of electromagnetic radiation no this is not electromagnetic radiation gamma particles are electromagnetic radiation 
इट इज मोर हाईली आयोनाइजिंग देन गैमा रेडिएशन येस इट इज द मोस्ट हाईली आयोनाइजिंग सो लेट चेक द डी इट इज द मोस्ट पेनीट्रेटिंग मोर पेनीट्रेटिंग देन द बीटा पार्टिकल नो दिस इज नॉट दे आर लेस पेनीट्रेटिंग देन द बीटा पार्टिकल दैट वाई दे कैन नॉट पास थ्रू पेपर और द प्लास्टिक क्वेश्चन नंबर फाइव एल्फा बीटा एंड गैमा रेडिएशन आर एमिटेड बाई रेडियो एक्टिव सब्सटेंस विच स्टेटमेंट इज करेक्ट एल्फा रेडिएशन कंसिस्ट ऑफ चार्ज पार्टिकल दिट इज करेक्ट एल्फा कंटेन चार्ज पार्टिकल एंड इज द मोस्ट हाईली आइनाइजिंग रेडिएशन बोथ स्टेटमेंट्स आर करेक्ट ओके लेट चेक द सेकेंड वन बीटा रेडिएशन कंसिस्ट ऑफ चार्ज पार्टिकल दस दे कंसिस्ट ऑफ चार्ज पार्टिकल एंड द मोस्ट पेनीट्रेटिंग रेडिएशन नो गैमा रेज आर द मोस्ट पेनीट्रेटिंग रेडिएशन beta particle consists of uncharged particle this is wrong we are not going to check the second one gamma radiation consists of uncharged particle this is correct these are the least penetrating no these are the highly penetrating so our first option is the right option question number 6 which row shows the nature and the penetrating ability of beta particle their nature these are electrons so first or second could be the right one a few millimeter of aluminum a thin sheet of paper are stopped by they cannot stop by a thin sheet of paper they can stop by the a few millimeter of any metal or aluminum so a is your right option which row shows the relative ionizing effect and penetrating abilities of alpha and beta particle ionizing effect ionizing we know that alpha particles are more ionizing than beta particles so a or b could be the right option penetrating ability beta particles are more penetrating alpha particle are less penetrating than beta so b is the right option question number 8 compared with beta particles and gamma particles alpha particles okay a are the only type of radiation to carry a charge no alpha particle and beta particle do both contain charge okay ji have the greatest ionizing effect beta particles and gamma particles beta particles and gamma particles now we are going to compare beta particles and gamma particle with alpha particle question is written a little bit wrong it is compared alpha particle with beta and gamma particles it is compare alpha particle with beta and gamma particle okay uh, b has the greatest ionizing effect Uh, yes alpha particle has the greatest ionizing effect has the greatest penetrating effect no they are not the greatest penetrating gamma rays are the most penetrating have the smallest mass they have the greatest mass so b is the right option in a cathode ray tube cathode ray tube is a tube that contain electrons or beta particles a hot tungsten cathode releases particles by thermonic emission what are these particles these are electrons these are electron in cathode ray tube we use electrons okay the question number 10 the diagram show a radioactive source a thick aluminum sheet and a radiation detector this is aluminum sheet this is your radiation detector and this is your radioactive source the radiation detector show a reading greater than the background radiation it means particles are crossing them particle crossing them which type of radiation is being emitted by source and detected by the detector okay if the particles are crossing aluminum sheet so it means beta particles or alpha particles can't cross these aluminum sheet so which one is going to cross these sheets aluminum sheet we know that gamma radiation can cross these sheet of aluminum alpha beta cannot cross the sheet of aluminum so gamma radiation is our right option which are detected at the detector in cathode ray tube particles are fired at a screen what are these particles in cathode ray tube we use electrons okay then. number 12 A radiation detector is placed close to a source of beta particle. What are we going to source of which particles? Beta particles. Aluminium sheet of increasing thickness are placed between the source and the detector. 
Eventually, a sheet with a 2 cm thick is used. The reading on the detector decreases but does not fall to zero. Why does the reading not fall to zero? Why does the reading not fall to zero? Some of the beta particles go around the edges. They cannot go around the edges. They move in a straight line. The detector is too close to the source. No, the detector, this sheet is placed between them so they cannot cross them. There is always some background radiation. Yes, there could be some background radiation. And the last one, the sheet can never be thick enough to absorb all the particles. No, that's wrong. So there should be some background radiation which are uh, detected by the detector. A radioactive substance emit a particle from the nucleus of one of its atom. The particle consists of two proton and two neutron. Two proton, two neutron. What type, what's the name of this process? This is alpha emission. In alpha particle, we contain two proton and two neutrons. Okay, question number 14. A radioactive nucleus emits a beta particle. What happened to the proton number, atomic number of the nucleus? Atomic number. Now, a beta part, when we emit a beta particle, we have a statement like this. Plus electron 0 minus 1. A and Z. Make A as it is. Z plus 1. So, what happened over here? Proton number increases by 1. Proton number increases by 1. So, it is increased by 1. Proton number increased by 1. A radioactive decay can be represented as shown. 233, 233, 91, 92. The equation is incomplete. In this decay, the nucleus changed by what? What happened over here? What happened here? Something like a uh, particle emitted could be any particle what happened 91 to 92 so it would be minus 1 233 233 0 so 0 and minus 1 is for the beta particle it means emitting a beta particle the decay include the emitting the beta particle when a beta particle emitted by uh, some radioactive element its atomic number remains same uh, it, sorry its mass number remains same its atomic number increased by 1 because a neutron decay to proton and electron sodium 24 decay to magnesium 24 according to the following equation 24 24 11 12 now we have discussed this this is the which particle is emitted beta particle is going to be emitted beta particle is going to be emitted that's why its atomic number increased by 1. Question number 17. The nucleus of americium atom contains 133 neutron and 85 proton. It decay by emitting an alpha particle. How many neutrons and how many protons remain in the nucleus when this form of americium decay? Okay. Uh, we have 133 neutron and 85 proton. Alpha particle contain 2 proton and 2 neutrons. So, neutron decay by two numbers, it will become 131. And proton also decay two, it will become 83. 3 plus 1, so 83. 83 could be from these two. Or, now we are going to add these. So, we get the nucleon number 3 plus 1, 4. And 18 plus 3, 21. So, 214. So, C is your right option. 214 are the nucleon number and 83 are the proton number. Uh, the nucleus of an americium atom, uh, this question is repeated. With the uh, pro neutron number and pro chaining proton number. Okay, question number 19. A radioactive carbon-14 decay into nitrogen by emitting a beta particle. The equation below represents this decay. What is the value of P and Q? What is the value of P and Q? In beta particle, we know that beta particles are 0, minus 1. So, Q is minus 1. This is 7. It means that we could have here as 6 because in beta particle, atomic number increases by 1. So, P is 6. 
एंड क्यू इज माइनस वन क्यू इज माइनस वन इट इज माइनस वन नॉट प्लस वन दीज आर माइनस वन हेयर आर माइनस वन और माइनस वन दीज आर प्लस वन एंड दीज आर माइनस वन सो वी विल हैव आवर ऑप्शन एज सिक्स एंड माइनस वन बी इज आवर राइट ऑप्शन सिक्स एंड माइनस वन ओके जी क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी अ न्यूक्लियस ऑफ एम एल सी एम टू फोर्टी थ्री नाइन्टी फाइव ए एम दिस इज इट सिंबल एमिट्स एंड एल्फा पार्टिकल टू फॉर्म अ न्यूक्लियस ऑफ नेपटूनियम एन पी विच इक्वेजन रिप्रेजेंट दिस डिके सो टू फोर्टी थ्री आर गोइंग टू बिकम टू टू फोर्टी थ्री आर गोइंग टू बिकम टू थर्टी नाइन वी नो डैट अटोमिक मैथ डिक्रीजिज बाई फोर एंड अटोमिक नंबर डिक्रीजिज बाई टू इट इज गोइंग टू बी नाइन्टी थ्री सो एमिरसियम टू फोर्टी थ्री नाइन्टी फाइव एंड नेपटूनियम एन पी विच शुड बी टू थर्टी नाइन एंड नाइन्टी फाइव ओवर हेयर द लास्ट ऑप्शन एंड द विद द डी ऑफ एल्फा पार्टिकल फोर टू ओके क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी वन बिस्मिथ टू वन फोर डी के बाय बीटा पार्टिकल टू एन आइसोटोप ऑफ पोलोनियम पोलोनियम कंप्लीट द इक्वेजन फॉर दिस डिके ऑफ बिस्मिथ टू वन फोर वेन बीटा पार्टिकल द अटोमिक मैथ रिमेन द सेम सो इट शुड बी टू वन फोर इट गोइंग टू बी माइनस वन सो वी शुड हैव एटी थ्री एटी फोर सो एटी फोर माइनस वन इज इक्वल टू एटी थ्री फिगर लेवन ट्वेंट वन शो द ग्राफ ऑफ न्यूक्लियॉन नंबर अगेंस्ट प्रोटोन नंबर वी हैव न्यूक्लियॉन नंबर द सम ऑफ प्रोटोन एंड द न्यूट्रॉन एंड प्रोटोन नंबर एट दिस साइड ऑन फिगर लेवन पॉइंट वन प्लॉट अ क्रॉस लेबल क्यू फॉर द न्यूक्लियस फॉर्म वेन द टू वन टू एटी थ्री न्यूक्लियस एमिट एन एल्फा पार्टिकल इट मीन दैट टू वन टू आर गोइंग टू बिकम टू जीरो एट माइनस फोर एंड एटी थ्री आर गोइंग टू बिकम एटी वन टू जीरो एट टू जीरो एट दिस लाइन एंड एटी थ्री दिस लाइन सॉरी एटी वन एटी वन ओवर है एंड प्लॉट अक्रॉस लेबल्ड आर फॉर द न्यूक्लियस फॉर्म वेन टू वन टू एटी थ्री न्यूक्लियस एमिट्स अ बीटा पार्टिकल इट एमिट द बीटा पार्टिकल टू वन टू रिमेन टू वन टू टू वन टू रिमेन टू वन टू एंड एटी थ्री बिकम एटी फोर बिकॉज वेन बीटा पार्टिकल एमिट द प्रोटोन नंबर इंक्रीजिज बाय वन द प्रोटोन नंबर इंक्रीजिज बाय वन तो टू वन टू एंड एटी फोर टू वन टू एंड एटी फोर द क्रॉस शुड बी एट दिस पोजिशन इट विल बी नेम्ड एज आर एंड दिस क्रॉस विल बी रिप्रेजेंटेड बाय क्यू वेन एल्फा पार्टिकल पास थ्रू द एयर दे आर स्ट्रॉन्गली आइनाइजिंग दैन बीटा पार्टिकल सजेस्ट द टू रीजन वाई इट इज सो वी नो डैट एल्फा पार्टिकल आर कंटेन मोर चार दे कंटेन मोर चार दे हैव हाई मैथ हाई मैथ दे आर स्लो मूविंग ड्यू टू देयर मोर मैथ दे आर स्लो मूविंग दीज आर सम रीजन ड्यू टू विच वी कैन से डैट एल्फा पार्टिकल्स आर मोर आइनाइजिंग देन डैट ऑफ द बीटा पार्टिकल्स टू सैंपल ऑफ ट्रीटीनियम आर स्टोर्ड इन एलमोनियम कंटेनर ऑफ डिफरेंट थिकनेस सैंपल वन इन इज इन अ कंटेनर ऑफ थिकनेस जीरो पॉइंट फाइव मिलीमीटर एंड रेडिएशन कैन बी डिटेक्टेड कमिंग थ्रू द कंटेनर सैंपल टू इज इन अ कंटेनर ऑफ थिकनेस फाइव मिलीमीटर एंड नो रेडिएशन कम थ्रू सेट द टाइप ऑफ रेडिएशन वी नो डैट द एलमोनियम इज अ मेटल एंड इट कैन ईजिली स्टॉप एल्फा पार्टिकल्स 
so from this sample one we know that these are not the alpha particle it could be a beta particle because beta particle can pass through few millimeters of the container of aluminium so what is our particles it are beta particle because when the thickness is increased when the thickness is increased there is no radiation it means it could not be gamma radiation because gamma radiation can pass through more thick aluminium sheet explain your answer now this is going to be explained here uh, because beta particles can pass through few millimeter sheet of aluminium but cannot pass from thick aluminium sheet aluminium sheet okay question number 25 strontium 90 is a radioactive isotope that emits beta particle as it decay the nuclear equation below shows this decay this is the decay 90 to x and 0 minus 1 the value of a in beta emission the atomic mass remains same so a will be 90 and 38 is going to become 39 because atomic number increases by 1 mass number remains same atomic number increases by 1 tick the element from the list below that is produced by this decay so uh, 39 which is the 39 yttrium yttrium is our right option question number 25 the isotope abx is also radioactive and undergoes beta decay what is x x is 9039 9039x and what is happened here it also undergoes a beta decay state the name of the element that is produced by this decay this is going to be 39 plus 1 40 which is zirconium zirconium is going to be produced in this decay or and uh, uh, and going to tick tick the element from the list below that is produced by this decay zirconium okay uh, in beta decay we can also write it as electron Question number 26. The isotope thorium-234 is radioactive. It emits beta particles as it decay. The incomplete nucleoid equation represent the decay of thorium-234 to an isotope of uh, protactinium. Complete the equation. Beta, so it is 0 minus 1. In beta decay, 234 remain 234. 90 become 91. Radioactive carbon 14, 14, 6 C decay by emitting beta particle. What are the values of the proton and the nucleon number of carbon 14? Proton number will going to increase by 7 and nucleon number remain same which is 14. Oh sorry, it is 6 and 14 because it is not after decay. After decay, it is the value of the carbon-14. So, carbon-14 will be 6 and 14. 6 are the proton number and 14 are the nucleon number. An atom of one of these isotopes is unstable. Same question. Uh, an isotope 
an atom of one of these isotopes is unstable and decay into a different element by emitting a beta particle. State one thing about the atom that remains the same during this decay. Atomic with decay, beta decay, so it is atomic mass. State one thing about the atom that change as a result of this decay. It is atomic number or you can also write as proton number proton number here you can write as nucleon number both options are the right options okay question number 27 complete the table below or the three types of radiation their nature these are electromagnetic radiation beta are the electrons and alpha are helium nuclei helium nuclei charges no charge beta are negative and these are positively charged stop by lead by metal sheet or you can write as by aluminium sheet by aluminium sheet you can write it by thick aluminium sheet question number 28 an iodine isotope 13153 uh, decay by beta emission to an isotope of xenon state the number of each type of particle in neutral atom we are going to discuss nuclear at neutral atom in neutral atom uh, the proton number is 53 and the neutrons are 131 minus 53 which is equal to 78 you can minus it and write here as 78 okay electron in neutral atom the proton and the electron number is same so proton and electron are 53 State the symbol in nucleoid notation for the xenon nucleus. Okay, the xenon nucleus are going to be Xe, uh, beta decay, beta emission. So atomic mass remains same and atomic number increases by 1, it would be 854. Question number 29. Figure 11.1 show the arrangement for an experiment to investigate the shielding of radioactive sources sample containing three different radiation sources are placed one at a time in the position shown the table shows the count rate which which when a radiation detector is placed at a position a to e there are three positions a to e a after the sample before the thick card after thick card and before the metal sheet and before the lead and after the lead okay the table show the count rate from a to e complete the table uh, complete the table of the indicated whether alpha particle beta particle emitted from each sample okay sample one are a high b high c high d high and e low it means that cannot just they can pass through the metal and the paper they cannot pass from the lead which cannot pass from the lead gamma radiations gamma particles gamma rays cannot pass through the uh, gamma rays cannot pass through the lead okay number two sample can pass uh, through the card but cannot pass through the metal sheet because after metal sheet we have zero result so these are the beta particles beta particles can pass from paper but cannot pass from the metal sheet sample 3 high at a position at b position they are also not present they are also not present they are just present at the sample position a so these are uh, alpha particle and uh, there is one thing more which are described here that alpha particles are most highly ionizing 
so they when they ionizing the other particle they lose their energy and they cannot pass from the air as well 20 cm of air they cannot cross this area of 20 cm of air due to their highly ionizing powers now we are going to discuss the deflection of alpha particle beta particle and gamma radiations in electric field and magnetic field this is a supplement topic uh, alpha beta uh, are deflected uh, in the um, uh, electric field uh, but uh, gamma radiations as they have no charge they are not deflected in the uh, magnetic field alpha particle and beta particle are deflected in opposite direction alpha particle toward the cathode and the beta particle toward the anode alpha particle toward cathode and beta particle toward anode as beta particle are less massive so they um, they deflect more than the uh, alpha particle alpha and beta particle are deflected in opposite direction due to their opposite charges and due to their much larger mass alpha particle are deflected far less than the beta particle gamma rays are not deflected because they are not charged particle now the magnetic field in magnetic field we can find the deflection of alpha particle and beta particle uh, with the help of fleming left hand rule but gamma rays are not deflected in the um, uh, electric field or uh, in the magnetic field uh, the first finger is in the direction of the magnetic field and the second finger direction of the conventional current conventional current is what thing like the direction of positive charges uh, if we are going to discuss for the uh, alpha particle we are taking the direction uh, of the second finger but uh, uh, and the force in with the help of the thumb but when we are uh, uh, discussing about the uh, beta particle we will find the direction uh, just like the alpha particle and then uh, opposite it like if the alpha particle are deflecting like the positive charges are deflecting toward the north we will say that they are deflected toward the south upward direction downward direction and one more thing they are deflected in a direction perpendicular there to the magnetic field perpendicular to the magnetic field like this this is magnetic field is from north to south their velocity is in the direction straight line and they are deflected at a 90 degree from their uh, direction of motion okay question number one uh, one thing to remember in this uh, the that they are deflected in opposite direction alpha and beta particle are deflected in opposite direction and gamma rays are not deflected by the uh, magnetic field and also by the electric field a beam of gamma rays passes between two charged metal plates as shown in diagram what are the rays gamma rays how do the gamma rays pass between the plates they are deflected in a direction perpendicular to the page no these rays are deflected toward the negative charge no these are deflected toward the positive charge no these rays will continue in the same direction because they are not affected by the electric field okay question number two figure 9.1 show an experiment carried out in a, a vacuum to investigate the deflection of alpha particle and gamma rays alpha particle and gamma rays what is that uh, there is a radioactive source which, uh, which emit alpha particle and gamma rays a uh, lead cylinder with a small hole so that um, the um, the emitting waves or the particle move in a straight line and they are uh, moved toward the uh, north and south pole from the magnet complete the table of the diagram so gamma rays there will be no deflection Up no, uh, now we are going to discuss the alpha particle alpha particle is deflected in what direction the direction of the magnetic field is downward the direction of the magnetic field is downward downward the direction of current is straight no by fleming left hand rule uh, our magnetic field our first finger is in the direction of magnetic field our second finger is in the direction of current so place your first finger in the direction of the magnetic field and place your second finger in the direction of the electric current place your second finger in the direction of electric current first finger magnetic field second finger your direction of current now our particle will move into the paper our particle will move into the paper but you can use your fleming left hand rule to describe it 
your finger first finger in the direction of the magnetic field downward your second finger in the direction of current your third finger your uh, your uh, thumb will point into the paper question number 3 in a laboratory secure radioactive cupboard are two unstable radioactive sources a scientist knows that one is alpha emitter and the other one is beta emitter alpha emitter and beta emitter but is not sure which is which a radioactive detector a magnet and some paper are available describe briefly two different experiments that using the equipment would would allow the scientist to identify which is the alpha emitter and which is the beta emitter first is paper test alpha cannot pass beta can pass as we know that we have some paper from the alpha particle cannot pass from a piece of paper and beta particle can pass from the piece of paper and the second test we use magnet test now what happened over here in magnet test we know that our deflection will be opposite in direction outcome opposite movement of particle or we can say that deflection of particle deflection of particle in magnetic field our particle are going to deflect beta what happened for the beta they also deflect more than alpha particle we know that the deflection is more than the uh, alpha particle and in opposite direction in opposite direction for example this is your a uh, magnet north pole and south pole these are the rays one is deflected over here and one is deflected over here these are your electron which are deflected more and which are deflected less are alpha particle question number 4 Uh, a beam of alpha particle and beta particle passes in vacuum between the poles of a strong magnet compare the deflection of the path of the uh, two uh, types of particle we know that these two are deflected by the magnetic field one is deflected more and one is deflected less alpha particle deflect less than beta particles and they both deflect in opposite direction they both deflect in opposite direction describe how an electric field between two charge plates could be used to determine whether a beam of particle consists of alpha particle and beta particle so it is very easy alpha particle move toward negative plate cathode and beta particle as they are positively charged uh, sorry negatively charged move toward positive plate positive plate anode okay describe the path of gamma ray magnetic field they move in straight line without any deflection because they are not attracted 
by any charge uh, any uh, uh, plate positive or negative plate and they are also not affected by the magnetic field question number 7 uh, emission from a radioactive source can pass through a hole in a lead screen and into a magnetic field as shown in figure 10.1 the experiment is carried out in the vacuum radiation detector are placed at position a b and c here are the positions a b and c uh, they are given the following readings a b and c a 32 b 543 and c 396 the radiation source is then completely removed and the readings are 32 b 30 and c 31 okay with with the uh, with radioactive material and without radioactive material okay from the data given for positions a b and c deduce the type of emission coming from the radioactive sources explain your reasoning okay uh, from a you have 32 counts and here 33 counts so these are the background radiations it means that at b and c you are getting the radiations as b is here and there are no deflection if some some rays coming from here so these this should be the gamma rays that are coming at this point gamma uh, rays okay uh, and at position c at position c this should be the beta particles because they are deflected much more and by flaming left and dual you can find the direction that the beta particle should be deflected like this these should be the alpha particle but they are no alpha particle because only background radiation are absorbed at position a so at a we get only background radiation background radiations at b we get gamma rays gamma rays because they are not deflected by magnetic field deflected by magnetic field at C we get beta particles they are deflected more they are deflected more and we can also use flaming left hand rule okay now the last topic uh, explain their relative ionizing effect with reference to kinetic energy and electric charge Okay, the alpha particle. Alpha particle is the most ionizing because it has the greatest mass, so they have the greatest kinetic energy. 1 by 2 mv square. And due to their most, uh, they have the um, uh, positive plus 2 e charge, which is uh, 2 times than the beta particles, whereas gamma particle have no charge. So that's why, due to their large charge, due to their more charge, they are more ionizing. They are the um, uh, most ionizing they will show the most ionizing effect okay the beta particle is very light it is in uh, an electron but travel at a high speed therefore it has a lot of kinetic energy and it's still moderately ionizing due to less charge they are uh, their ionizing effect is less than the uh, alpha particle but more than the gamma rays okay the gamma radiations has virtually no mass so it is weakly ionizing or due to no electrical charge their ionizing effect is zero okay we will meet uh, with you with our next topic half-life in our next lecture